Hey, this is Greg Shields, and you've found the fourth course in my learning path on the Windows Virtual Desktop Topics and Technologies that comprise the EZ140 exam. I am author evangelist and a full-time author here at Pluralsight, and I've been working with virtual desktop technologies since the earliest introduction of virtual desktops. With the foundations of our WVD implementation now complete, we take a short sidebar journey to the access control and security topics that are relevant to Azure resources. Once in production, providing the correct access and permissions to users and other administrators, as well as ensuring total environment security will be major components of your everyday maintenance. In this fourth course out of six, we begin with a quick look at access control and the Azure role-based access control mechanisms for distributing privileges to users and administrators. Next, we'll explore how these controls work in combination with additional permissions that must be applied to your synchronized Active Directory domain. Then, we'll switch gears to talk about the general security best practices for Azure resources, including our WVD components. By the end of this course, you'll be equipped to know how best to ensure environment security to your production WVD deployment. If you've just been tasked with designing and or managing a Windows virtual desktop environment in Microsoft Azure, this course is your next stop in brushing up on those skills for success. And then from here, you'll be ready to continue on the learning path as we manage user environments and apps and monitor and maintain a WVD infrastructure. Let's get started.